Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. Always amazing to have you. My name is Jeanette and today I am going over my Disney World haul, which it's been taking me a while to shoot this video only because I kind of wanted to break up the Disney content a little bit. I've been doing a lot of Target shop throughs, Walmart shop throughs and posting those videos, but the time has come for me to shoot my Disney World haul because I have some Halloween items in here that I actually want to start using. So if you've been watching the channel, you guys know that we took a mega vacation this summer to Disney World for a milestone birthday and just family fun. And we stocked up on a lot of nice things. I will say I waited to order a few things on Shop Disney when we got back only because my kids wanted a few bigger items like this Disney monorail. All right, so actually my favorite thing in this haul is something that we picked up for Miss Penelope. Um, this was a gift from one of the grandmas and she had to have it. This is the Yeti from Expedition Everest. It is an attraction in Animal Kingdom. It is a roller coaster. It is awesome. It's one of my favorites. And I've never seen this lounge fly bag anywhere. I think this is exclusive to Animal Kingdom. It's so cool. He has the little snow goggles. Um, it's a it's a lounge fly bag. So it has a lot of the features of a lounge fly backpack, has the zip you know, compartments, and it's fuzzy. The only thing is it's white. So I have to be very careful when I let Penelope use it because I want her to be able to collect this and not just like beat it up. I love that icy blue color here on the back. I don't remember the retail. It was $78, which is typical lounge fly uh, prices. So that was a must have. And Penny is very happy that she owns this bag. I'm secretly happy for her too. Ooh, we got some clothing here. But before I jump into the regular clothing, I'm obsessed with my Hocus Pocus hat. I showed this in the Disney Spring shop through when I saw the Hocus Pocus collection. And once I saw this online, cause they, I saw a few of the items before we actually went to the parks because Shop Disney always does like previews or they launch things earlier on the website. So you can get an idea of what they're gonna carry for Halloween. When I saw this witchy hat and it says Hocus Pocus on the back, I had to have it. I love Hocus Pocus, I love the witches. And it has the eye on the front, there is the back so you can see it does um, say Disney Hocus Pocus, which is pretty cool. I actually wore this on the plane. Yeah, I wore it. I was like, you know what? I have no space. I don't want the wires to get all crushed. So I wore it, no shame. I love this hat. I'm gonna wear it for Halloween, probably the entire month of October. You will find me in this hat. All right, so a few clothing items. These are actually for me. I found a couple of really cool crop shirts that could work for bar. now. Keep in mind, I always wear tank tops under these guys, so um, I'm not gonna have everything hanging out, but this one says the most magical place on earth, Walt Disney World. I mean, then I had to get this Jack Skellington one. How fun is this to wear for bar class? Um, it's like a yellowish creamish color, and I like the um, Jack Skellington design because it's actually like a mesh. Like his face is like a mesh, it's not just like painted. Had to get Max a Halloween hoodie. I wasn't crazy with the spirit jerseys this year. I feel like they were just so loud. Right, it was like orange with Mickey's on it. Very cute, but very loud. So I didn't get it for the kids this year. Um, however, I did still get Max a hoodie. This is a gray hoodie with Mickey on there. On the back, it says horror, haunts, and hayrides. I believe one of the grandmas purchased this one as well. All right, all my four townies out there, you know what is up. Penelope and I, we're, we're crazy with Turning Red. We love Maymay, we love Four Town. So when I saw this shirt, it's like a Four Town tour t-shirt. I had to grab it for a Penelope. On the back here, it says Four Town and it has like their fake mock tour dates. Um, but yeah, it says World Tour 02, 2002. Um, and I thought this was just super cute. She's excited to wear this. She's been asking about it. She's like, Four Town shirt, Four. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's somewhere, but it's been in the bags and I had to shoot the haul. So I'm excited to wash this up so she can wear it for school this week. When we went to Epcot for our date night, um, Epcot was celebrating their International Food and Wine Festival 2023. I saw this hanging on a rack. I was like, oh my gosh this is so stunning look at the beautiful colors i actually just bought a halloween apron that has like skulls on it i'm trying to build my apron collection who's cooler than maribel right so this was super cool i thought it was great to commemorate going to epcot and not really being part of the wine and food festival but it doesn't matter for the top here it's adjustable you don't have to tie it and you just put it around your neck and oh my gosh you're gonna tie it off and you're gonna look like maribel it has a little butterfly there super beautiful super fun i feel like penelope might be a little bit jealous of this one because she loves cooking and aprons and you know she loves encanto it's her favorite oh my gosh the sweater that was sold out and i had to have it and I don't know what happened. I shot this at Disney Springs. I, I was looking for this sweater. It's the one sweater that I saw on the website that I really, really wanted. And they sold out on the website. They brought it back, but they only had like double XL and they didn't have it anywhere in the Disney parks. Not Magic Kingdom, not Animal Kingdom, not Disney Springs, not Hollywood Studios. Nobody had it. So we were at World of Disney 
And this just, I swear to you, it just appeared on the rack. It was just one little pink shirt among all the, these orange shirts. And I was like, with my sister, I was like, what is that? She goes, is that the shirt you were looking for? What size is it? It was a medium and it fits perfectly. So it says Horrors, Haunts, and Hayrides. It's very similar to the hoodie that I just showed you that we got from Max, same uh, graphic, uh, but it's pink and it's like hot pink and it's so cute. And this was one of the shirts for 2023 that I had to have. I did get a few of the tote bags that they had for 2023. Every time we go and they're celebrating a specific event, I always like to collect the tote bags because I just feel like years from now, I can look back on it and remember the trip. So the canvas tote bag is this print here with this 2023 Mickey pumpkin, which is so, so cool. I believe this one glows in the dark. It says, come join at your own risk, has little tombstones down there. And then like the grocery reusable bags, I picked up a few of these. I actually got three and gave one to my grandma too. She just loves the tote bags. These just say happy Halloween. They're regular like plastic tote bags that you could use, you know, for transporting groceries. I got some Disney workout leggings. I'm not sure how well they're gonna hold up because they're just Disney brand. Um, you can call them leggings or tights, but they're kind of like workout material. Like they feel like my Gap workout pants. Pants. Um, they're the same fabric, same material, same seams. They even have like the little foam pocket here. So I'm gonna call them workout pants. But you know what my workout pants don't have that these do? Mm-hmm, Mickey and Minnie. I saw them on the rack. I was like, these are just so darn cute. I've been going to bar class a lot and I go through my workout clothes a lot. So I figured you can never have too many exercising pants. So I picked these up. I love them. They're black. It's Mickey and Minnie, guys. You honestly just can't beat it. The Hocus Pocus ears, these were non-negotiable. Like when I got to Disney, I knew that this was something that I had to have. And if I didn't find them in person, I was gonna buy them online. You don't really see ears that are Hocus Pocus. So these were a must have for me. Like the sparkly ears and like Encanto and you know Princess and the Frog and Little Mermaid like those they always do like spin-offs every other year and you'll, you'll get a different variation but Hocus Pocus with this witchy print here I feel like I'm never going to see these again so I had to have these I saw them on the website when they launched and I knew when I got to the park these were a must-have so that's what they look like up close and personal Penny's lollipops I get these for her all the time she loves these lollipops I'm so glad she forgot about these because she just wants to eat them all the time so um these will be a nice little treat when she comes home she'll be like oh my god I forgot about them so I'll put those aside for Penny one thing I noticed that was huge this year in Disney are the fans. I've never seen so many fans in the parks. It's amazing and I love it. These prints, hello, this is the hat box ghost from the Haunted Mansion. How could I not have this? Um, and they're so inexpensive. I think it was like 11 or $12 and it's a fan, right? Oh, I think this is my Daisy Duck um, clear glass iced coffee cup. Yes, it is, okay. I saw this, I, I regret not getting Donald. I regret not getting Donald and I don't really wanna order it online because I don't have very good luck when they send me glasses and mugs. That is what it looks like. I love these for iced coffee. They just feel so cute and chic. So I don't know, I just, I like to drink iced tea and iced coffee out of these. It does say Daisy on the front. It has her printed all over with little smiley faces and bows. So I took these out of the packaging before we came home, but I got these two little keychains for the kids. Max loves Goofy. He does his little voice like in songs. <laughs> it's, it's really, really adorable. So I got this to clip on his backpack for back to school. And then uh, Penny loves Chip and Dale. So I went ahead and I grabbed her this. I feel like I should have gotten both. We love Star Wars. We love Rey. Penelope actually dressed up as Rey when we went to Hollywood Studios. That was a fun trip. If you haven't watched our vlog, I will link it below if you're interested in watching that. Uh, but my sister actually picked this up for her in Galaxy's Edge. I've never seen a Ray doll like this and I think you can only get it at Galaxy's Edge so that was super cute excited to add this to her collection all right bubble wands we get them for our kids every year they use them while they're here at the house all summer long actually the bubble wands that we got from last year they use them so much that they're like beat up so I picked this one up for Penny it has Mickey this is the one from the new collection I love the cape there look how cute that is it does light up and it does blow bubbles. So it does all of that. I'm not gonna, I don't think there's any solution in here, but if there's any residual, I don't want it to start shooting out, but it's a bubble wand and the kids love it. And it's great for those light up shows. And every year we do something called the pumpkin blaze, it's just like a huge path of lit up pumpkins that were hand carved and they do all these crazy designs. It's in the dark. Um, and these little light up things are fun to take because it'll light up the way. Have you seen these before? Yes, that's because I bought them for Penny at the beginning of the summer and she loves them so much. She wore them so, so, so much that they're pretty much, they're like worn out. They're worn out guys. They're starting to fit a little bit snug and the minis are starting to fall off. Not because of manufacturer defect, but because she beat them up so much. 
I did get a few pairs of socks for myself. These I love, they're high socks and I feel like with leggings and then to show the sock, I love that little style. I think it's so cute. Um, so these actually say Mickey Mouse on the back and they have Mickey right here. And I also picked up a set of Chippendale socks. Don't you worry, I'm gonna wear these. These are not for my kids, these are totally for me. I love cartoony socks, my kids love when I wear them. It's entertaining and interactive for them. Um, and they're high socks, so these are gonna be great for the fall time and who doesn't love Chippendale, honestly guys. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, or as a lot of people like to call it, Bibbidi Bobbidi Broke, because the place is so expensive, but it's so much fun, no regrets. It was a fantastic experience. My sister actually treated Penelope to this experience, which I am so, so, so grateful for. It was an unforgettable experience. I will cherish that memory in my mind for years to come, forever and ever. Uh, but you know, she went with Tiana, I knew it, my sister and I had bets on who she was going to pick, and I think we both really, really were convinced that she was going to go with Tiana, so we both won. Penelope looks so cute in her dress. It was a wonderful experience. The Tiana dress is what we got part of the package, right? Like, Penelope left there as Princess Tiana, but I saw this Princess Jasmine costume, and I was like, I'm not leaving that behind. That is adorable. There is a the little top. It is two pieces, and then there are the pants. Like, are you kidding me? Look how beautiful and well-made this is. So I I asked the girl, I was like, um, so she's gonna be Tiana, but can I buy other dresses that are on the racks? Because I don't see those anywhere else in the Disney parks. And they were like, of course, yes, if you're shopping here and you know, part of the Bibbidi Bobbidi experience, you are allowed to buy whatever is on the rack. So I got her the Princess Jasmine. She can wear this for Halloween. Oh, this is just journaling stuff. So I got her a cute little notebook. It has Minnie Mouse on there. It has like that squishy, I don't know what you call that. It's not mermaid sequins because that's when it flips. There's just, it's gel with glitter inside. And then I got her a set of pens that have all sorts of characters on there. I love it really because Chip and Flounder and she's really into Beauty and the Beast and the Little Mermaid. A few more clothing items. We're almost there. Home stretch, guys. I'm just, I'm so excited about this haul because who doesn't love Disney? I know a lot of people actually hate Disney and I've never seen so much hate on Disney adults. I'm like, <gasps> gasp, clutching my pearls. Why do people hate Disney adults? Like I get... I get the fact that it seems juvenile, but maybe it is nostalgic and maybe it is pulling something in a part of our brain that makes us wish we were back in a time that was easier and simpler and whimsical and fantastical. I think there's nothing wrong with that. So if you're a Disney adult like me, no shame, wear it proud. It is what it is, just let people be. And if that's what makes them happy and it's something that um, is wholesome, what's the problem? Anyway. Enough of that. I got Max an exclusive Halloween shirt that you can only find at Magic Kingdom. And you can see right here on the bottom, it says Magic Kingdom 2023, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which is the event that we did. And it glows in the dark. So I'm very excited that I got this t-shirt for Max. I actually got this t-shirt for Penny as well, and she wore it and it's in the laundry. So they have the same shirt, but this is the version that I got for Max. This is for me. I got myself a spirit jersey. I love Disney spirit jerseys. I have about five of them now. This makes number five, but this one, come on guys. Look at that one with the spider webs. It says Magic Kingdom 2023 on the front. And then look at the back, my favorite. It actually says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween and that pretty green, that little boiling, which is cauldron green, and then the purple that surrounds it, super cute. And then the spider whips have Mickey right in the middle. All right, a few more clothing items. I got this beautiful fleecy Sherpa-y fluffy sweater for Penelope. This is gonna be so great for fall, winter. She can wear this without a coat. Like this is a coat within itself for those days when it's just like 50 degrees and she needs a little something. This is gonna be perfect. And it has Jack Skellington on it, has a zipper. It's fleecy and plushy on the inside too. I actually found this for her in Disney's Animal Kingdom and it says The Nightmare Before Christmas on the sleeve. So how cool is this piece? I love it. This is not something you can just find at Walmart or Target. Well, Target might have it because Target is now carrying Disney store items, but I haven't seen this at Target. So I was super excited to find this for her. It's gonna look super cute come October. I got a white long sleeve shirt. Not sure what I was thinking, absolutely crazy. I've actually been wanting this shirt for a while. I saw it on Shop Disney when it launched. It has, yes, I know, I do this all the time. My husband, it drives him crazy when I do this, but I do, I do it nonetheless. So I thought this was perfectly appropriate for me to have because I do this all the time. One more workout tank top for myself. I say workout because all I've been doing is 
homework and working out. Um, this one is part of the Halloween collection as well. It has Minnie Mouse with her beautiful little bat cape there. I love this outfit. Like how cute is Minnie Mouse? I love that they did her in this design. And it's just like a muscle tank top, right? It's just a regular tank top. It's gray. This awesome hoodie I found while we were doing the Tron ride. They have like that whole futuristic section and they had a Star Wars section. I saw this cropped hoodie and I thought this was so cool to cosplay for Halloween. Like I could just wear black leggings or black jeans, put this on, do some dark makeup and feel like I'm cosplaying as like a Darth Vader-ish character. When I purchased this, I didn't notice it actually says Darth Vader there on a red tag, which is really, really cool. All right, last item in the haul is actually Miss Penelope's. This was a cute little shirt that I just could not leave it behind. We love the Haunted Mansion and Penelope actually did a great job on the Haunted Mansion. She memorized the song. This one has the designs from the Haunted Mansion, even has Madame Leota right there in the corner, super cute. She loved it, so we bought it. Friends, that is my Disney haul. You might be wondering, wait a minute, there's something missing. Did you get plushies? Yes, we got plushies. Penelope got three of them. She got a Minnie Mouse one with her dress as a princess. She got Angel from the Lilo and Stitch collection. And there was another one that she got. I can't even remember, but that is my haul. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I have tons of fall and Halloween content still coming up on the channel. I also still have to do my kids fall winter clothing haul. I guess I better shoot that this week. If you haven't subscribed, hit the red subscribe button, like this video. Thank you again for joining me. And I hope you have a magical day. Take care.